or welcome back everyone for another Destiny 2 video that I have to show. In today's showcase, we'll be taking a look at the new and fantastic melee seasonal mod called Well of Ions in terms of how it works, what it does, pros and cons to it, and lastly if the mod is worth using at any point in the game. Fairly straightforward and easy to use mod, the Well of Ions mod states that picking up an arc element well will increase your next melee damage by X amount. When the mod is active, you will receive a 30% melee increasement for 10 seconds, which you can use however you please. Now for 30% for a melee boost is relatively good for the general content where it's not too tough nor too easy, just a right balance between the two. If you use the mod on its own without any support, then that extra build damage is handy when you need it most, but it's not something you can rely on all the time. To get the most out of the mod, you will need to combine it with certain exotic and subclasses that support it. Let's take a titan with the insurmountable Skullfort helmet and Kodo the Juggernaut, a powerful setup that will allow you to regenerate health, melee energy and increase melee damage every time you get a kill or injure with your melee and increase weapon stability and weapon damage from a melee kill as well. This used to be one of the most notorious builds or general setups that any player could put together and use for PvP. This used to be one of the most notorious builds that any player could put together and use for PvP and it will cause a lot of havoc against you or the enemy team. For PvE it was still the same and it still is a monster add clear for beginner to end game tier content with some drawbacks of course. Applying this mod to the really powerful setup can allow the user to have even more damage than ever before, to the point that you, with a fully charged melee, you could 1 to 2 shot a major enemy, which tends to take a lot of punches to simply take down on their own. Or alternatively, you could take out an ultra enemy within 4 to 5 melee hits. That extra bonus from the mod is seriously good when applied to a coordinated build style. This can be applied to other subclasses as well, such as the Hunter's Way of the Warrior subclass or the Warlock's Arc subclasses as well, since they can all benefit from the damage boost. But that's not where the mod stops there. Though the mod states that you need an Arc Element Whelp to proc it, you can get around this to proc with any other subclasses of your choice, by simply applying the Overload Whelp Makeup mod. This mod allows users to create two Arc Elemental Whelps every time they use a finisher on an enemy no matter what subclass you have picked. This key mod alongside the World of Irons mod can allow you to produce a arc well whenever you like if you are using a solar, void or even stasis subclass. This means that exotics like Arthur's Embrace, Peregrine Greaves and Winter's Gill, who all benefit from a subclass specific tree and playstyle, can gain that extra bonus damage as long as you proc the buffs. So the mod in general is fantastic if you plan to heavily incorporate melee into your own builds. You can even add in weapons like the Monte Carlo just to give you that extra edge of power melee all the time so that you can always make full use of your abilities. The only downside to the mod is that it only lasts for 10 seconds, which is enough to take on whatever enemies near you, but it also poses a risk that if there are no enemies around you, then you will completely waste it since you have such a tight time frame to make full use of it. If you know what you're doing, then of course you have nothing to worry about and you can go around pulling off One Punch Man follow-ups there and then. It also disappears after a single hit, charged or not, which means you need to be fully sure you have everything prepared before hitting a target or else you'll lose out on the buff. This alongside the timer will place a lot of pressure on the player to act quickly before it goes, and it generally won't work with every setup you have if it requires even more timers to coordinate around. You also have to be aware that you can't use this in PvP, but of course you probably knew that already. I highly recommend you go ahead and nab this mod, as you never know what subclass change or exotics will be introduced that focuses on melee in the near future. But I also recommend you test out specific melee builds to see where it fits in the most, as you've got a lot to work with here. So if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content if you dig that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you all in the next one.